Today's reading is The Story Changes by B. Silverberg, illustrated by Darcy Tom. Before we get into this book, I want you to think about the following questions and at the end, reflect on these questions by writing down your answers in complete sentences. As you read, think about the word realistic fiction. What do you know about realistic things and the word fiction? And how is this story realistic fiction? Do you think the girl likes to know about changes before they happen? Why or why not? And what are two to three changes you've had to experience and how are you able to handle them? Let's get started. Changes. Things are always changing, like the clock, the weather, and even me. It seems nothing ever stays the same. My life has been full of changes. Sometimes I don't feel good about them, but then later it gets better. Taffy, my kitty, ran away. We have looked for him all over, but we can't find him anywhere. I miss Taffy a lot, and I'm sad. Dad says that we can get another kitty. That makes me feel better. I don't know what I will name him, but I will always remember Taffy. My best friend Robin just moved away. The moving van took, took away everything and the house is empty. I wish Robin were here to play with me. Robin now lives in the mountains. I have never seen the mountains, but they sound like fun to visit. Mom says we can take an airplane so I can see Robin and play with her again. What emotions do you notice the little girl going through? The day I started the new school year, I was scared of all the new children in my class. I was afraid that they wouldn't like me and that I couldn't run as fast as they do. Now I am happy because I have made lots of new friends. I like Sarah and Anna and Mary Lou who makes me laugh. I love my class and my teacher. My mom just took a new job at an office downtown. She's not here when I come home from school. My aunt Barbara is here to give me cookies and milk. Then I wait and wait for mom to come home. When the hands of the clock point straight up and down, she comes home and that makes me happy. Things are always changing, even with me. Yesterday, I looked in the mirror. My face looked like a Halloween pumpkin because I lost my first tooth. I had a big surprise when I woke up this morning. My tooth was gone from under my pillow. There was a note from the tooth fairy and a whole quarter. I'm going to save it to buy some colored pencils. In school, I learned that crawly caterpillars change into butterflies and tiny acorn nuts grow into great big oak trees. Mom says that long ago, she was little like me. Do you think someday I will change and be a grown up? I think I will be an artist. the end so guys go back and reflect on our following questions as you read what did the word realistic fiction um, mean to you think about the girl does she um like to know about changes before they happen why or why not 
what are two to three changes that you've experienced and how are you able to handle them? Well, that's all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's reading and I look forward to your responses.